How are you feeling right now? Um, I feel it, it's it's scary to say it, but I feel really good. Like Why happy. Is it scary to say that. I think it's like it's almost like Stockholm syndrome, right? Like I was in this crazy, almost like slightly abusive relationship with a company. Uh, but also good. There's good parts to it, but like, but now it's done and I kind of get to be myself again, which I haven't been in a long time. And so I feel good, but it's also just this scary part where you're like, okay, so what am I, what's next? What, who is Lena now that she's not Nia Jax? It's such a weird thing. Cause you and I have been talking about that a little while ago. We were just like texting about that, about that, like it's really exciting to have that freedom, but it's also like, what do I do with this freedom? And yeah, who am I now? Yeah. You become so used to who you are, not only character wise, but just like in that world. And it's so like consuming that once yeah. you're out of it, it's it really weird. You're like a little brand new baby deer of like, what am I doing? How do I exist? my brother, I have like the best brothers, family in general, but like, I, I'll never forget, like before I got the call a year before that, I was kind of like, gosh, it doesn't feel the same to me anymore. Like, I'm not as like super excited about it. I'm not like, as like, like I would get butterflies, like before travel, just like excitement. And then he was like, maybe it's time for you to like, start worrying about yourself. Like maybe it's time for you to like, think about Lena. And I was like, oh, that's, it was just a weird concept. I'm like, ah. Eh. Because, you know, you're just in the, like, you're a cog in the wheel and you're just going yeah. and you're like, no, but I'm so dead. You have to be so loyal to this company. And like, and then, and then finally when the call came, which caught me by surprise, um, he was like, this is good. Like, he was like my calm. He was like, this is good. He's like, this brothers is the best, for you. By the way. Oh. He like, my brothers are the best. I can't even imagine life without them, but so, okay, so run me through like what that last year to like six months was like for you. Um, Cause I mean, yeah, I mean, I definitely had seen moments like that. I think for so many people, like I'm sure you saw moments like that with me when I was yeah. there and I was like, hey, I think I'm ready to not be doing this anymore. And at that time, I mean, for me, I kind of hit that wall where I was like, I'm, I don't want to do this anymore, but I didn't have my hand on another branch when I left which is, you know, a similar situation, I guess, to like getting a call that you've been released and you're like, your hand's not on another branch yet either. And yeah. it's such a, it's such an odd thing, but what was that like last year to six months like for you? And like, just in the company in general? Well, so I came back, like I had left and had the surgeries, right? Like I had my double ACL surgery and then I was sitting at home waiting to like come back, but they're like, oh, we're not going to use you. But then COVID hit. And then nobody, like everybody was freaked out, understandably, right? Like they didn't want to work. And, and so I will never forget, like, it just kind of set the tone for the, the whole year. I was laying in bed and I got a call from TR saying, you're needed. Cause this is when we're filming at the PC and you're needed. You're filming your return in like two hours. I was like, wait, what? And I'm sitting there like, I was texting Paul Heyman because at the time he was running stuff. I'm like, what is going on? Whatever, whatever. And then, and then when we, I came back, the energy was just different. You know, obviously we were trying to work through a pandemic. Everybody like is scared. Nobody seemed, nobody seemed happy. It was just a weird, tense feeling. And I, you know, like we were there at the PC and mm -hmm. just like trying to make the best of it. Right. Like doing our TikTok videos and yeah, just trying yeah. to laugh at it. Like something in the air, it just didn't feel the same. And there was a change in the guard in the company, like in the corporate, on the corporate side. And things just started shifting to where it didn't seem like, like what it used to be like, you know what I mean? Like we used to kind of have like the family, like camaraderie, you know, like all yeah. get together and have a good time and, and something shifted. That started and, to go away. Yeah. You know, it, and so and then that's when, like, I think a lot of people, like, we're just starting, like, what the heck's, what's up? And then we had those, like, massive, like, cuts, like, cut after cut after cut. And they were, like, oh, this is it. And, like, budget cuts and whatnot. And nothing was making sense. So, like, the whole last year was, it was just, I felt like I was in a constant, like a, like a dryer. Like, I was being tumbled in, like, different directions. And I just couldn't get settled. And, um, and yeah, like, I remember I, I walked into Johnny's office after, 
just like a crazy couple of weeks, like in wrestling. And just, I was like, you know what? I, I need a break. Like something's off. I don't feel right. Mm -hmm. I need a break. And, uh, and he, you know, he gave it to me. He was like, yeah, of course, go ahead and take the break. And, and, uh, and when I was in the break, I could, I mean, I shit you not, I did not miss it. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those things where like, you need it's I've talked to like a few other people but like even like when I you know I have like Misha Tate when I do my uh, UFC show with her and like she took like four or five years off before she was like hey I'm ready to like get back to it like a couple weeks is not the break that you need like you need like a break break you need to step away and yeah like real it's hard. like it's yeah I mean it's just it's one of those things that just like it takes up all of your energy it takes up your thoughts it takes up your physical energy like all of those things that to just like have a long weekend, that shit ain't gonna cut it. It's not definitely not gonna <laughs> cut it. I'm like, I when it went by so fast, my break, I was like, oh shit, it's coming up. And I'll never forget, I just hit Johnny up and I was like, hey, um, I was like, hey, like, I know that my break's coming up, but I just don't feel right right now. Like, is there any way we can kind of extend it to rumble? And then I was like, I know I'll be in a better place, whatever, whatever. And that was like on a Wednesday. I hit him up about that. And then, um, and Thursday he called me and of course I see his name. I'm like, Oh, he's calling to talk about this. So cool. And then I pick up the phone and he was just like, he's like, Hey kid, I hate to do this. And instantly oh when he said God. that, and I said, I was like, Oh, am I getting released? And he said, yeah. He was like, I'm so sorry due to budget cuts, you know, the whole, the whole spiel. And I was just like, I remember going like, Oh, okay. Well I'll take a pay cut. If that's what I was like, if that's what's needed, just because I knew it was the whole, like the whole like script. Sure. And so, and he's like, oh, that's not it. And I was like, oh, so you just want like a total, like different change. Like he's like, yeah, yeah, that's it. We're just gonna put you on your 90 days. And he's like, I, I hate to do this. And if you ever need anything, you know, reach out the whole, and I hung up the phone and I, I was just, I was relieved. Like I had a big sense of relief. That is, it's so interesting to me that that is a general sentiment from everybody that I've talked to that has been through this. And I know that, you know, with that comes that feeling that of course, everyone for the last, you know, year and a half, two years has been on eggshells of wondering like, am I next when you get that 203 phone number, is right? that what that call is going to be? And like, yes. shit, that is no way to live. Like, that's so stressful. So to be like, you know what? Let's just get it over with and part ways. Like I get where that relief comes from 100%. Yeah. I was like, you know what? That's fine. Like I, I stood, I stood my ground on certain things that I know that they weren't happy about. Like what? Um, I'm sure <laughs> people are going to go crazy. Uh, and it obviously got leaked. Yes. I was choosing not to go and get the vaccine. Mm -hmm. and it was a personal choice. And I remember sitting down with Vince because the whole two, entire two years I was there, I, we were tested every day. I never popped positive. I never had COVID the whole time. And I was just like, I just don't feel, I didn't feel comfortable at the time because I had two cousins that had injuries. My Oma had recently passed from it. And so I just didn't feel comfortable. Right. Yeah. And, um, and it was like, well, kid, you're not going to be able to fulfill some of your contractual duties. And I was like, well, if that's the case, then that's the case. Like it's, it's yeah. a business. I said, it's a business. And I understand you got to run your business. Yeah. And, um, so that was a part, like a huge part of the relief as well. It was like, you know what? I understand. I, I know because in that list of people that were let go, I know those, a few others felt the same as me Okay. and they were in that list. And then the next one after some people were let go and, and it is what it is. Like, I get it. It's a business and things are crazy right now, yeah. but I was just like, I just didn't feel comfortable. And, and Johnny, well, Johnny and Vince were like, they made their decision yeah. and that's totally fine. But that's when I was like, you know, I feel relief because I made the decision for myself and right. I stood by my grant. I stood by how I felt. Like I always go by my gut feeling. If it doesn't feel right in my stomach. I just can't force myself to do something I don't feel good with. That's just how I've lived my entire life. Yeah. I mean, listen, there's definitely something to be said for following your gut on things and feeling a certain way about things. And 
yeah, I mean, if would you have changed anything otherwise? I mean, no. Now oh, absolutely not. Like I even said, like I was just like I was asked to be like a locker room leader. And he was like, you know, you got to set an example, you got to do this. And I was just like, I'm not a stooge. I'm not going to go and, and stooge anybody out. Like if you want to know somebody's personal business, go ahead and ask them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't play by that thing. It's like, well, people are going to listen to you and follow you, follow suit by you. I was like, if that's, if they do, that's on them. It's not my problem. Like, so I sit back and think like, should I have changed? No, I don't. I don't think I should have. I I'm, I am happy. And that's who it's really who I am. You yeah. know, like, yeah, I got caught up in, in the blurred lines of Nia Jax. Like, you know how it is. It's weird because even outside, it's not like they run credits and say Nia Jax is Lena Fanini. Like it's Nia Jax 24 seven. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I'm doing interviews as Nia. Like people don't know who my real name, what my real name is. Like, they're just like, oh, you're just Nia Jax. And I'm like, no. Didn't people think when you changed your Twitter that that was like your new wrestling name? My new wrestling name. It was like <laughs> the dirt sheets, like, like um, Nia Jax released her new, uh, it, whatever. I was like, no, it's not. I'm not, it's not, it's my real name. It's who I am. <laughs> like I shoot brother. Right. And that's the thing is like, they don't know. It gets, shit gets blurred. Yeah. And so I think that's where like, I was like, you know, this, that's not something Lena would do. And I can't, I can't sit here and like be something that they want me to be just to appease them. But at the end of the day, like, am I going to feel good about myself? You know, there's plenty of other stooges in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that. We all know that. <laughs>